The pandemic has taken thousands of lives. Deaths in the U.S. rose by 18% in 2020, leaving even more children and families grieving. That makes the services at Judy's House even more important right now. The staff at Judy's House helps children navigate their grief after a traumatic experience. CBS 4's Dominic Garcia introducing us now to one of the many families that's been helped. Copper, where? Oliver remembers his father through pictures and stories. My husband, Bart, was diagnosed with stage four esophageal cancer when Oliver was three years old. Bart passed away just two years later. So I don't remember much. Together, they remember him. But Oliver is acutely aware that his own photo albums will be missing his father. With the college process, thinking about graduation, not having my dad there is a hard thing. A great loss in his life that he and his mother have worked hard to heal. Oliver was five and a half. I was 37, trying to figure out how to grieve myself and help him, and so Judy's house was there. Judy's house normalized what they were going through and taught them coping skills for managing their grief. Judy's house taught me that grieving is not about letting go, but it's about holding on in a different way. I don't remember much. I remember going upstairs and having group and sitting in beanbags. The specifics may be a little fuzzy, but the impact has been profound for this now 18-year-old man. Judy's house and Dr. Katie worked to have a tool belt to handle those moments and be able to, you know, feel the things that you want to feel and you need to feel and be able to, to keep moving and not get stuck in a rut. I feel I am raised a child who's well-adjusted because of Judy's house. I think every day for the rest of my life I'll, I'll have to use something for my tool belt. Both Lisa and Oliver have since gone back to Judy's house as volunteers to help other grieving children and their families. I'm Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First. Thank you, Dominic. Judy's House is currently doing a capital campaign to build a new home where they can expand their services and help more children and families. We've got a link on how you can donate to CBSDenver.com.